With President Trump's fervor over immigration and border security, Canadians are suddenly scrambling to visit the United States now before the longest undefended border in the world becomes the longest undefended strip of razor wire and Gatling guns. But rest assured, it is still safe to travel to the U.S. as long as you take the following precautions. For years, Canadians have used the maple leaf on their backpack as a sign to the rest of the world that they aren't American and can therefore be trusted as generous lovers. But as of this year, Americans see Canadian nationalism as a sign of aggression. Please refrain from antagonizing them. We know what they do when they feel threatened. When you approach customs, be pleasant and forthright, answer their questions honestly and thoroughly, and make sure all narcotics are stuck firmly up your butt. Mm -hmm. If the border guards ask for your thoughts on President Trump, you should lie. The quicker and better you lie, the sooner they will let you in. Potential lies could be, I like his hair, or he's a good negotiator, or I approve of how rapidly he has dragged the United States along a path of madness and possible war but feel free to make up your own. Now you're in. A word of warning though, with racial and political divides at an all-time high, it's best to avoid known conflict zones, like economically depressed rural regions, multicultural urban enclaves, the South, the North, and all points marked on the map. However, if you are white, please disregard this entire video, as you will have no problems. And now you know about traveling to the U.S.